Hi, I am Noor, a PhD student at the University of Amsterdam. And I am here today to present to you our latest work, Timeception for Complex Action Recognition. This is a collaborative research done by Nouruddin Hussein, F. Stratios Gafes, and Arnold Smulders. So, what is the problem? Look at these two human actions. At the first glance, these two examples may very well look similar to you. After all, they depict a person performing a cooking activity in the kitchen. But if you look carefully, the video on the right is simple. The person is merely stirring something on the stove. While the one on the left is complex, the person is preparing lunch, starting by grabbing something from the fridge, then cooking it on the stove, putting it back to the fridge, and finally do the washing up. We call the action on the right one action and the one on the left complex action. And this is what we address today. A complex action is characterized by three properties. It is long range, it has different temporal extents and it requires temporal dependencies. A one action typically occurs in two seconds. By definition, a complex action is a composition of two or more different one actions Consequently, a complex action can take up to 30 seconds to unfold. The second property is the temporal extent. Over many video examples of the same complex action, a one action can vary in its temporal extent. For example, the one action get might take a bit longer in the third video example than the first. This is also applies to all other one actions. The third property is the temporal dependency. One cannot recognize the complex action preparing lunch by merely looking at one action, putting the jar back to the fridge. Thus, recognizing the temporal dependencies between the one actions is crucial to recognizing the complex action itself. So, to sum up, we need a method that learns temporal dependencies for long-range videos with different temporal extents. Now let's see how we solve this. Starting from a video, we all know that if we apply convolution over time, we can learn temporal dependencies between local video frames. And if we follow up with a cascade of downsampling and convolution layers, we end up learning the temporal dependencies between all the video frames, even the long range dependencies. That's why we propose Timeception, a temporal convolution layer for video understanding. Timeception is a modular layer so it resides on top of a typical 2D or 3D CNN. And that's how Timeception can learn temporal dependencies between the one actions of a complex action. Thanks to its efficiency, Timeception scales up the temporal dependencies to seconds long videos. So let's delve inside the Timeception layer and see how it is built with efficiency in mind. First, we make use of grouped convolution to reduce the complexity of convolution operation, be it spatial or temporal. Here, cross-channel correlations are modeled separately for each group. Second, we factorize the typical 3D convolution. The result is depth-wise convolution applied only to the temporal dimension. Worth mentioning that each kernel acts on only one channel along the temporal dimension. This factorization drastically reduced the complexity of the typical 3D convolution. Finally, to model the cross-group correlation, we opt for channel shuffling and concatenation, which reduced the complexity even further. Thanks to its efficiency, we can stack up to four timesception layers on top of a typical 2D CNN, like ResNet or 3D CNN, like i3D. The cost of adding timesception layers scales almost linearly unlike other 3D convolutional layers. And that's how Timeception models long-range videos of up to 1000 video frames while keeping the computational cost under control. Another advantage of Timeception layer is the ability to tolerate the differences in temporal extents of one actions. And instead of depending on temporal convolutions with fixed size kernels, Timeception make use of multi-scale kernels, whether by using different kernel sizes k or different dilation rates d. So inside the temporal convolution module of a timeception layer, there are two basic operations. First, the depth-wise temporal convolution with different kernel sizes required to tolerate the temporal extents of one actions. Then, 
Each is followed by a channel-wise convolution for dimension reduction. And that's how Timeception achieves the last goal, tolerating the variances in temporal extent. Now let's see how Timeception performs against recent models for action recognition and temporal modeling. This figure shows the effects of adding Timeception layers on top of a backbone CNN. For example, the blue circle shows how Timeception if placed on top of 3D ResNet achieves a better performance on Charade's dataset if compared to last year best method the non-local networks. The same case prevails if Timeception is used on top of i3D or 2D ResNet. Like said, Timeception achieves a very long range temporal model. A cascade of four Timeception layers can model up to 128 video frames, while if placed on top of i3D, Timeception scales up the temporal footprint to a whopping 1024 frames. That's 10 times longer than the non local network and 20 times longer than i3D. When scaling up the temporal footprint, Timeception does not compromise on the computational complexity. The cost of adding fully fledged four layers of Timeception is merely 3 million parameters. It scales almost linearly compared to other factorized 3D convolutional layers. We also notice that adding more Timeception layers monotonically improves the performance of recognizing the complex actions of Charade's dataset. We found that multi-scale kernels outperform their fixed size counterparts, though we did not see much of a difference between using different dilation rates or different kernel sizes. Don't forget to cite our work Timeception. If you are attending the conference CVPR 2019, I'd be much more than happy to chat with you during the poster session or after giving the talk. Both the talk and the poster session are in the morning of 18th of June 2019. See you there then. Finally, you will find the code and train models of Timeception publicly available on GitHub.